So, this is the second time we are doing the Royce Peak. Uh, me and Finn did the first climb about two weeks ago, but it was really... Uh, it was uh, really cloudy, really rainy and the weather was just not good, so we decided to turn back and just try some other time. And now, two weeks later, we are back in Wanaka before we go to the Mount Aspiring and the West Coast. And this time, you will see who join us as well. Oh, it's really windy, sorry about that. Yeah, the weather is much nicer this time. It's sunny, but it is windy. But compared to the last time, much, much better. So I'm just taking my rest here and waiting for Siegfried and Finn to catch up. So Finn, was it better the last time or now? Uh, I don't know. It was rainy and cloudy the last time. Yeah, I and mean, now we have a bloody. It feels better, but the wind is making trouble, and it's way colder than last time. Yeah. So yeah, a... for the photo it's nicer, but for the body, pretty much the same, I would say. And we have a secret here this time. <laughs> yeah. Hello. He made it. Woohoo! He came all the way from Wanaka. Yeah. To the Royce Peak. <laughs> Yeah, at least we got some good shots. And now we are just taking a shelter from this wind. It's not working. So that happened. <laughs> so police officer told us it was like what stones and wind. Yeah. That's crazy. I've never seen this. Yeah, we thought oh. it, we thought that somebody smashed our windows and just took all our stuff. But our stuff is still there, so. Do you have that I'm insurance? Really, I'm, yeah. I'm yeah. really sorry for you, man. <laughs> but so we did the Roy Peak yesterday and we spent the night in Wanaka. But unfortunately, on our way back from the Royce Peak, uh, uh, Siegfried's uh, side windows got broken because it was a really strong wind and combined with some rocks. Yeah, he, his three side windows are all broken, so we called the insurance company and we are waiting for the replacement glass now. Uh, we decided to make our road trip a bit shorter, so we're gonna end the trip in about six days just going through the blue pools, up to the west coast, through the west coast and then back to Christchurch. So here we are at the uh, blue pools on our way to the west coast. It's a really nice place to take a break. The water is really, really blue. Just look at that. How are you? It's, oh, I'm shaking. <laughs> I nearly destroyed my drone. Yeah, like... Uh, How, on the bridge? Yeah, I flew uh, under the bridge and it was like 30 centimeters below. Uh. Yeah. 
But it's still, it's still there, right? It's still there? Yes, okay. So at the moment we are driving through the Haast Pass, which is one of the passes that leads all the way to the west coast. And we decided to climb this hill for a lookout to see the actual valley. So over here is somewhere where Wanaka is and through this pass you reach the west coast which is just behind that hill. So, just a few minutes away from the Haast Pass We have Brewster Hut and Fentail Falls Of course, we're gonna do only the falls We don't have the time from the Brewster Hut So just behind me we have a Fantail Falls and over here we have a lovely piece of art So we are currently at the Thunder Creek waterfall. It's our last stop probably before we reach the west coast. This beautiful waterfall just behind me. It's supposed to be the most beautiful wall in this valley. So yeah, that's probably our last stop. We are about halfway, halfway through from Wanaka to the Fox Glacier. Right? Yeah, he's so happy. He's so happy to drive us all the way. What is the next stop? The next stop is Haast. Haast. It's on it's on the west coast.